Christopher Crumley, staff editor at SDM Magazine, and welcome to Security News Roundup. Everon, formerly ADT Commercial, announced the acquisition of Portland Safe, based in Gray, Maine. The deal marks the second purchase that Everon has completed in the past month, following the announcement that it had acquired Kentucky-based New Tech Systems. A locally owned and operated business for over 35 years, Portland Safe specializes in providing security solutions for banking and financial institutions, including community banks, credit unions, and related businesses across Maine and New Hampshire. The company's teams are experienced in the delivery, installation, and service of the latest technologies in access control, alarm systems, video surveillance, physical security, drive-up equipment, cash handling equipment, NCR interactive teller machines, ATMs, and more. The Federal Trade Commission has banned Rite Aid from using facial recognition technology in its stores for five years after the pharmacy chain was found to have falsely accused customers of crimes and unfairly targeted people of color. Under the terms of a settlement announced on December 19, 2023, Rite Aid will be barred from using facial recognition technology for surveillance purposes. According to the FTC's 54-page complaint from October 2012 to July 2020, Rite Aid employees acting on false alerts followed customers around stores, searched them, ordered them to leave, and, if they refused, called the police to confront them or remove them, oftentimes in front of their friends and family. Rite Aid released a statement denying the allegations that it misused the technology. Smart home and security rivals Alarm.com and Vivint have resolved all outstanding litigation between the companies after signing a long-term intellectual property license agreement. In a joint announcement, the company said that the agreement calls for Alarm.com to license its intellectual property portfolio to Vivint. Except as required under the rules of the Securities and Exchange Commission, no other details about the settlement will be released according to the announcement. The industry mourns the loss of two longtime industry professionals, Linda Susan Murphy Knott, a renowned public relations professional and a cherished member in her community, passed away on November 20th, 2023, after a valiant battle with colon cancer. She was 69 years old. In 1984, at the age of 30, in Chicago, she founded Murphy Knott Public Relations, which she led for nearly four decades until her death, helping to craft the corporate messaging of major local, national, and international brands. Melvin Bradley Kamchiff, marketing manager of a Corporation, passed away unexpectedly on December 26, 2023, at his home in Kirkland, Washington. He was 54 years old. Kamchiff, better known as Brad, was a 35-year employee of a Corporation, who led the company's marketing team and was instrumental in developing its strategic marketing plan, an announcement stated. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and please visit sdmmag.com for more industry news.